Yo guys, Venomous Players here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to run unsupported Steam games on GeForce Now. So, go on to Steam. And that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh, those were the days, though. Now, how long's the queue going to be? Seven people. Speed this up, and... Yeah. Okay guys, and now we're loading into Steam. Now I'm gonna give a huge shout out to Eric Plays, because he's the one that helped me find this tutorial. And Han, let me just quickly close my door. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, uh, shout out to Eric Plays, he's the one that helped me find this. He, he did post a method using this, but I couldn't get his way to work, but my way is very similar. Like, extremely similar. So, for those. Uh, I'm going to speed this up, so yeah, if you haven't seen my tutorial, well, why the fuck haven't you seen my last tutorial? Go watch that, because this is how you're going to do that. Anyway, cue the fucking speed up. Okay, so once you've downloaded the two files, now you download the this patch the same way you download everything else. You just go through Big Picture and download it. So you go on Big Picture, you find my channel or Eric's channel. It'll it'll probably be easier on my channel, just because you know the video you're looking for. Be in the description of this video. You click it, press go to side, wait for the padlock to If you've been if you've done exploits before, you know how it works. And then, ba, 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 ba. If you've seen my story, you know how to do this. Block, 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 bling, belong. I love being a bong. Okay, so now you're in seven zip. This is where you actually do have to pay attention. And so this was so you would have done all this to get stuff working. And now once you've downloaded the file in Big Picture or in a browser, depending on you know which one you've done, if you've done it in Pale Moon or if you've done it in Big Picture, it doesn't really matter. Just as long as you have the thing, go to wherever it's downloaded. Gonna do it like this just because I don't want to right click just in case it kicks me. And you want to drag it to your Hitman folder. Like so. Now come into here, rename. Perfect. Now, 
Now, once this is in here, all you've got to do is run this. This will open. Made by it plays. Shout out again. Just tap one, press enter. It will say, are you sure? Now, before I do this, I do just want to prove that the game I'm using to test is, in fact, not supported. So, where's Black Ops? Because I know that's not supported. There it is. Install. Next. There you go. See that? Not supported, okay? Yes, patch. Okay, so it's going to patch. Now, be warned, you will lose. I'm fairly sure you'll lose the Hitman folder. We'll test it. I'm pretty sure you do lose the Hitman folder because it deletes this folder this folder from Steam. Okay, but now it's patched. You can exit it. Steam will connect. Okay, apparently not. Apparently you don't lose that. Good to know. And now Black Ops 3. Resume. And there you go, look, now it's downloading. And there you go, you can see it's downloading. I'm not going to sit here and wait for it to download, but it's downloading. Now, if you do, you can download GTA. It won't work though, it will give you an error. Like, it will download and install. Also, you can always do this. If you need more space, you just come up to here. And then you go, oh, where is it? I think it's downloads, manage, yeah. Oh, no, you can't. He's changed it. All right, well, that's how much space you get, because you can't add another one, because Eric changed the code from his last one. Okay. So, yeah. Now you can run on support games. Yeah, hope you found this useful.